Welcome back to GTU. Human trafficking exists across the country. And yes, even right here in our state. It can happen to anyone, but what can you do to help save a life? We're joined now by Jake Neely. He's from the Maloof Foundation and Julie Whitehead. She's a trafficking survivor. And Jake, I want to start with you. Tell us about the Maloof Foundation. This is a Utah nonprofit based in Cache Valley. Why is this your flagship cause? Yeah, that's a good that's a good question. I mean, trafficking is something that not everybody understands all the time, and it's something that's difficult to take in because it's a heavier topic. Um, but you know, being in Cache Valley, uh, you know, we you know saw that it was happening around us. We started working with Utah foster care, domestic violence shelters uh, here in the state, and seeing the experiences that the individuals that they work with have and and the difficulties that they went through started to open our eyes a little bit more about uh, human trafficking and what's happening in the state so as a as a dad as a you know brother community member a citizen of our country um, we felt pulled to uh, really make a difference and try to make an impact so you partnered with safe house project and created something called on watch what is that that's right. So OnWatch is training to help people recognize the signs of trafficking in the United States. So as we know, trafficking is trending today. There's a lot more chatter. We're hearing a lot more about it. But not everyone knows what it actually looks like. And sometimes they're looking for things in you know different areas, maybe outside the country or other areas of town. Um, but it's happening in our communities right here. And so OnWatch is free training that people can go to uh, by visiting IamOnWatch.org and learn what it looks like right here. And the, the unique thing about On Watch is that it's survivor-led, survivor-informed, survivor-edited. So actual trafficking survivors have contributed, and we, we respect the authority of their voice over anything else. Well, and Julie Whitehead is part of that team because she yeah. is a trafficking survivor. Thank you for being here on the show today. Can you tell us your story, Julie? Yeah, so my trafficker actually found me at a very vulnerable time in my life, and traffickers tend to prey on vulnerabilities, which we all have, so nobody's immune from them. Um, but I was a mother of three, I was 30 years old, and I was going through a terrible divorce. I was also a preschool teacher, and my trafficker ended up being the father of one of my students. And he led me to believe that I could trust him, that he was there for me, he was a friend, somebody to act as a support. And he ended up manipulating me. And over five months, he trafficked me throughout the state of Utah and the surrounding states. And all of this time while I was being trafficked, I was still coming home and being a mother and being a part of the community. Julie, when you share your story, are people surprised that it's happening right to, to a neighbor? right here in our state. Yeah, always surprised. Um, there is no typical victim, but I think that people are always surprised that it can happen to really anybody. Julie, what can we do about it? Well, I think the biggest thing is awareness. Um, I know that during my experience, I felt very invisible in the community because there I was in the community, but nobody was seeing what was happening to me. And so I think the On Watch program is so important because it trains people to see the signs to know what to look for, and then more importantly, to know what to do about it. How many victims just like you are out there right now and we don't know about it yet? Oh, it's a huge number. It's, it's too many, obviously. Um, is it, this tough to speak about? It is. It is hard. Um, but I, I, early on, I felt like it wasn't enough for me to just survive. I needed to do something about it. And so the Malou Foundation and Safe House Project have been wonderful to let me be a part of this on watch training. And it feels like I'm doing something positive with something very negative in my life. Jake, I think we see this right now, like you said a lot on social media and on our feeds, and maybe you're scrolling right past everybody. If you do stop and say, what can I do? What can our viewers do about this today? It's, it's really simple. Just visiting imonwatch.org click start the training and you're in and you're automatically going to see stories of real survivors uh, that they wrote and then we have a subject matter expert that breaks that down talks about you know if you're a teacher what you might have seen in this situation or a doctor uh, a community member a neighbor uh, an uncle aunt so this um, is not just children <clears throat> that's right right this this th i mean you were an adult when this happened you were a mom how are you doing now i'm doing well thank you for asking i i'll probably always be in therapy from what i endured but i'm i'm doing well thanks spotting human trafficking everybody
like more information about On Watch, do go to our website. But that is the site again, right there on your screen. I'm on watch.org, abc4.com slash GTU if you would like more information. I'm Jake from the Malou Foundation and Julie, thank you both for being here. Thank so you. important. Thank you.